just thought I'd show um, what a bad HDMI cable or bad HDMI signal looks like. Now you can buy really expensive high def cables um, to uh, uh, they go up for up to a thousand five hundred pounds is what I checked, and it's only a one and a half meters long. Uh, some silly Audio Quest one. Um, but they make really no difference because HDMI is a digital signal. It's encoded using a form of 8 bit, 10 bit encoding. Um, load of nonsense for basically means it's got very good error correction, and because it is um, usually threshold based, it will uh, be very insensitive to the actual levels as long as it can pick out the data. And so in this case, I've just loosened the cable slightly. And you can see I'm getting some flashing green lines across the screen, um, but really, there's, there's not like pictures. You haven't become any fuzzier or anything like that. It's just got those green lines popping up occasionally because it's picking up noise. If I reseat the cable, uh, that picture is fine. This is 1080p. Uh, if I loosen it even more, you can get to uh, do other things uh, like that, which is an even more obvious failure. But you see, there's no in-between as such. It's really completely broken or, you know, mostly broken or working perfectly. And this HDMI cable does work perfectly at full HD, streaming to more than over a 2 meter length. It's actually a DVI, HDMI to DVI cable. You see, it's got decent thickness and it cost me a grand total of £2, including delivery. So, I have no problem at all with this cable. It works perfectly. Uh, unless the connector is loose, and in fact my other DVI cable does the same thing, so I think it's just the quirk of the DVI standard. So, that's what dodgy HDMI cable looks like. If you do get that kind of dodginess, go for the one that costs £5 instead of £2. Don't go for the one that costs £50 or £100, because once you get above maybe £10 for a cable, you get to the point where there is no difference between the cables. They are just sold on the brand. Enjoy!